creators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be another Q&A video. I really like to film these because for one, you guys are able to get to know me a little bit better, especially if you're new to my channel. And for two, I'm able to talk about a wide variety of things, but I'm not usually the YouTuber who will answer questions like what's your favorite color, etc. I'd much rather talk about things that are going to provoke different story times or just things that you had no idea about me. You're probably gonna hear some tea that you've never heard before. Before we jump into the questions, I wanna give a huge shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible is a leading provider of digital entertainment and digital information on the internet, which means audiobooks basically, and a lot of other fun stuff. They have an unmatched selection, which means that you can get more on their website than you can anywhere else. Everything from magazines, books, other things that I wouldn't even really think about that could be read to me audio style, but they can be through Audible. Check it out for yourself if you don't believe me. Link at the top of the description box below. They are currently doing a 30-day free trial, so if you guys use audible.com slash alligators with two R's and a Z, you will be able to get that, especially if you're lazy like I am and you don't really like to actually have to carry around books to have it on your phone or your tablet like that is pretty convenient. If you guys have never read the Harry Potter series before, I would definitely recommend giving it a try through Audible because you can listen on your aux cord in your car while driving because those books are huge and it's going to get you through a lot quicker. And also something really cool about their website is that if you get a book from them, you're able to keep it. It's not like a rental thing, like it's yours for life after you purchase it once. Again, thank you Audible for sponsoring. Be sure to check them out. Link at the top of the description box below and let's go on and get into these questions. How do you deal with toxic friendships slash relationships with people? You don't. You simply just do not. You cut those people out of your life. No time for negative influences, negative people, people who do not treat you the way that you deserve. So you just basically get rid of those people. What's the craziest thing you've seen at a rave? So one time I walked in on two people having sex at a rave and the worst thing about the situation was that I didn't even walk away. Like I was so in shock that I just continued to stand there. And then my boyfriend at the time had to like grab me and pull me away because I was just like, what the hell? Like, is this really happening right in front of me? Like, I couldn't believe my eyes almost. And yeah, that was definitely interesting and definitely not the only time that's happened in my life, but the first time at a rave and only time so far. When do you think your next meetup will be? So by the time you guys see this video, I will be at Olivia Kara's house and she and I could totally do a meetup together. I don't know if we will though, because we're gonna be at Nocturnal Wonderland, which is like this huge festival in San Bernardino. And after that, we'll probably be pretty wiped out and my flight home is like right afterwards because I have school and stuff. So if we had time, we would probably do one. I don't like doing meetups by myself because I just feel awkward like no one's gonna show up or something so I like to do them with other YouTubers. I feel like they're more interactive and fun that way but if you guys are ever in Reading, hit me up, just slide in my DMs, let me know. I'd love to hang out with you. Opinions on people who cheat, how do you deal with it? So I've been cheated on a ton. It sucks. It's not fun, but I think that everyone makes mistakes myself included I've never cheated but everyone makes mistakes in their own way and you should just forgive that person But advice to cheaters out there don't even get in a relationship if you can't be faithful because there's really no point Just stay in the talking stage or the single stage preferably What's it like to go out in public and meet fans? Also, I've been subscribed to you since your fifth video I love you so much. I love you more and honestly, it's normal to me Like I don't meet subscribers all the time, but when I do I think of you guys as my friends and I think it's really awesome because we're able to connect like right away because you guys obviously watch YouTube and you guys know me a little bit and then I'm just really curious to get to know you and we get to hang out and talk and I get to hug you, take pictures with you guys. So it's a lot of fun and it happens super randomly whenever I do meet someone. Scariest medical thing that's ever happened to you. So I have only mentioned this really like once or maybe twice on my channel, but my freshman year I was on 5150, which means I had to spend a week in a hospital because I went through a bunch of stuff my freshman year in high school. And that's something I would love to talk more in depth about in a separate video but that was definitely the scariest medical thing for me just to see myself in that sort of environment because I attempted suicide that's what I was there for was pretty like rock bottom I would say especially at that age because I was 14 15 no I had just turned 15 I just turned 15 I was like wow how did I get myself in here I really want to turn things around and then I did favorite EDM artist Marshmello, Galantis honestly all the mainstream people and then a lot of the underground people too some people I just like specific songs by them and other people I like all their music pretty much as a whole. Dylan Francis, Elenium, Flume. How long is your tongue? Stick it out as far as you can. My tongue's really fat and long. I have a big tongue. Name three YouTubers you would date. <laughs> I really don't want to answer this. This is just based off of their videos and their personality from what I can tell and their looks and stuff, obviously. Nick Bean, 
I think he's really cute and super dedicated to everything he does. He and Lolly, because he's just so hot, like we can't deny this. And probably Brennan Taylor. He's pretty cool. What's your biggest turn on and turn off? By the way, I love you so much. I love you more. And my biggest turn on will be people who can laugh at themselves. Like they have a good sense of humor. They don't take life too seriously, but they also have goals and ambitions and something that they do that's more creative because I'm just attracted to people like that for sure. Whether it's music or they make videos, they do photography, whatever. I just like people who choose to express themselves in some way. Turn off offs would definitely be people who are stuck up, think they're better than others, or poor hygiene. That's disgusting to me. How old are you? I will be 21 November 5th. That's coming up real soon. So currently I'm 20 years old. What happened to Natalia Taylor? So I'm not going to get too into this question just because it's not my place. It's not my business, but I've been getting this question so much just because people know that I was with her basically right before she quit social media. So I would say that's her choice. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check her Twitter. You can go read what she put out to everybody and what she had to say. But I think that she's just trying to do some other things with her life at the moment and she may be back, she may not be back. Who knows, but she's happy, she's healthy, she's doing good and no one should be concerned about her. She's my friend and we still talk. Have you ever had sex with a YouTuber? No, I've never even kissed a YouTuber. Everyone is saying that Liam Atridge is the guy in the video. Can you confirm for everyone that it's not him? Okay, I think you're referring to the video I did on Shannon's channel where we were talking about famous celebrity people we dated, whatever. Honestly, no idea how people thought it was him because I don't even know who that is so I can confirm it's not Liam. Yeah, definitely never dated him. Have you ever crushed on one of your friend's boyfriends? No, because I'm not a piece of shit and I feel like if you like your friend's boyfriend, you're probably a little too close with them if you know what I'm saying where it's like inappropriate and you need to let your friend keep their boyfriend and stay away from them. What's the most extreme thing someone has ever said slash done to you after rejecting them? Dudes can be nuts. Love you girl. Love you too. Guys are actually crazy. Like not even just saying that. I have some of the craziest freaking stories regarding this. I would say probably one that was really recent was I broke up with this guy. I was dating him for like literally a day, like a day, like no time at all. And he did some like weird stuff. And so afterwards he was trying to interrogate me about some situations some stuff that went down. And I told him like, no, it wasn't me or no, this happened and blah, blah, blah. And he just kept interrogating me, like accusing me of lying. And I was like, bro, stop hitting me up. Like I gave you your answer. Like that's the only story I know how to tell. That's my side of things. And he was just like, if I find out you're lying to me, I promise swift retribution like this and that like trying to threaten me like what the hell and then my other guy friend had to like text the guy and like go off on him being like yo like leave Allie alone she wants nothing to do with you like you make her hella uncomfortable and stuff that was just a weird situation and then I had him show up at my house and basically like yell at me saying that he hates me and I was like okay then why are you here like you can leave bye so I don't know guys are so weird guys can't handle it when they get rejected like their ego is so bruised to where they lash out and they act like they're five no offense girls do plenty of crazy shit trust me but guys Guys in particular literally cannot handle being rejected like I don't know what it is about that but they just can't deal with it what would you do if some guy you know randomly came up to you with some 50 shades of gray type ish ha 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 I feel like I could translate this into what's the weirdest thing a guy's ever asked me to do like fetish wise or like something weird they were into I'm gonna have to bleep this out or else my whole channel will probably get demonetized but my friends know this was a real thing that happened a guy I dated asked me to in like a sexual way and I wasn't down I didn't do it and I shortly after broke up with that person <laughs> because that's freaking not normal. Have any of your old friends from the whole friend burning the porch situation said anything since the video slash you now? So they're talking about a story time I did a couple months ago where my best friend set an apartment on fire and tried to steal my boyfriend, whatever. That'll be linked below if you wanna check that out. And no, they actually haven't. They won't because they know that everything I said was 1000% true. And you know the best part about all this is that I never got an apology. I don't want an apology. I don't need an apology. And I'm talking about before I filmed that video because significant amount of time passed before I decided to do that. It's just funny because if I was in that position and I did everything that person did, I would have some self-respect and at least try to own up, redeem myself in some way, even if it wasn't going to change anything. It's like, okay, you're only proving that like I'm right about you. Like everything that you did and the person that I realized you were, I wasn't wrong. When will you start Chico State? I start in January. So after this semester is over, I will be transferring to get my bachelor's degree from Chico State in communications. If you were invisible, what is the first thing you would do? Spy on people, duh. That's about 
about it. Like, what else can you really do when you're invisible? I guess get into the movie theater for free and things like that. Any updates on merch? Yes, actually, I have been working with a close friend as well as a couple people who have done other YouTubers merch to get some design ideas going because I want my merch to be super freaking unique. Like unisex, so guys and girls are gonna wanna wear it and good for any sort of age. Like awesome stuff that anybody would get even if they didn't even know who I was. I don't wanna give away too many details because I want it to be a surprise, but get excited. Any recent paranormal experiences? Okay, yes, there is one and it's pretty crazy. Shout out to my best friend, April. I'm gonna be using her little backstory in this little story time that's paranormal. So she took a selfie on Snapchat. This was only like a couple weeks ago too. I'm gonna insert it right here on the screen. And if you notice in the background of her selfie, there's a furry dark arm that does not belong to her. And you could argue that it's in the mirror and it's like somehow her hand or arm. But as you can see, it's like gripping the wall or something. And it's just super creepy. So she saw that after she took her selfie and she was like, what the hell? She showed her parents. She literally slept in her parents' bed that night. Like she couldn't even sleep in her room alone. Anyways, a couple days after that, I went down and stayed the night at her house. And we were all talking about how her room is possessed, like there's a demon in there or something, like it's hella scary and stuff. And we're downstairs and we're with a group of like maybe 10 people or so. It was like her brother, her brother's friends, and then us and our friends and stuff. We're all downstairs in the living room just hanging out. And I go upstairs to check my phone or something. I don't even remember, but it was like three in the morning. Like no one was sleeping. We were up super late. And when I go up there, I hear noise like water. And I'm like, okay, am I tripping? Like nobody's up here. Nobody's been up here for hours. And then I see right outside the bathroom door there's water like emerged all over the carpet so I push open the door and the sink is flooding like water dripping all over the counter like onto the floor all the way out to the carpet so I yelled for April and her brother and all of our friends to come upstairs and look and they were kind of slow to come up because they didn't understand like nobody had been up there the sink was literally full-blown like running water from both ends like both of the faucets were cranked and yeah you could argue that it was someone there like a person there but I don't think anybody would do that as a prank because that's messed up like they flooded the bathroom no one would take a joke that far you know and also no one had been upstairs for such a long time that I feel like it definitely could have been something else that wanted to let us know it was there because we were talking about it. What is your biggest insecurity and your favorite thing about yourself? My biggest insecurity I've talked about before on my channel, it's definitely related to my ADD just because it makes me a little bit slower at times and I feel like I can come off as like I'm not smart or I'm stupid or I'm trying to be airheady and dumb but that's not the case at all. Sometimes I'm just kind of like zoning out and things like that and I can't really help it but my favorite thing about myself would definitely be that I'm very positive and outgoing and I'm really happy like I'm just a good vibe type of person or at least I try my best to be and I think that's pretty cool because it rubs off on other people and it can make other people's days better can you lick your elbow Oh, I'm gonna like pop my shoulder out of my socket. I give up. What is your biggest regret in life so far? So I wouldn't really say this is a huge life regret. I don't believe in regrets. I think that the things we do make us who we are. But I thought of it earlier and it's kind of funny. So I met this YouTuber, right? You know how earlier I said never even kissed a YouTuber? I was talking to this YouTuber at VidCon and he was so hot and he's really, really big too. I guarantee you most of you are subscribed to this person. He was talking to me. We were hitting it off. He was sort of like having his arm around me and things like that and flirting with me. And I thought he was really cute, but I thought he was so cute to the point where like it was making me nervous And he asked to kiss me He told me he really wanted to kiss me and he thought I was so beautiful all this stuff And I was like, no, I'm sorry Like I just met you now I look back and I wish so much that I would have just kissed him like what's wrong with me Why am I the way that I am? I'm so mad at myself because that was probably the only time I'll ever have the opportunity to like be in that situation I don't know. I shouldn't say that I have this person's number But I'm too scared to ever hit them up because I'm irrelevant and I was lucky they even talked to me <laughs> Well, I feel like we've spilled enough tea, told enough embarrassing slash paranormal stories for one video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. If you did, be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below letting me know what kind of questions or what you'd like to hear me talk in more depth about in my next Q&A video because I always want juicy questions. Don't forget to check out Audible. They will be linked at the top of the description box below to get your free 30-day trial. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on my post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box because that helps me out so much. YouTube sucks. They're not notifying people. We all know this. This has been an ongoing thing. Check out my Patreon. That will also be in the description box below to get my private Snapchat, exclusive photo shoots, etc. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, all getters. Bye.